Hello, it's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another special, special video, and uh, I'm glad you're tuning in to me today. Hello, it's your boy Mr. CV. I'm back. I'm back with another special, special video, and this video is something that I've had in my mind for a long time. It's a video where I wrote down and I thought it's important for me to discuss because as a person that's a reflective thinker, I was trying to understand why am I so reflective? Why do I think so much? Why is it that I take things deeper than other people should? Because I think sometimes in order to know yourself, you need to take time to understand and think about why you do certain things so I thought you know what why not do this video because I do know a lot of people as well that are quite similar to myself that are very reflective that think about things quite a lot think about things quite different from the average person so and it's important that obviously they can try and understand why do they do that this video I'm gonna say about thinking too much because sometimes I do I do think too much and obviously that can lead to overthinking as well one of the good things about obviously thinking a lot and being reflective is that it allows me to see both sides so a lot of the time when I make these videos is based on my reflection and how I think about things so obviously through that I'm able to sit down with myself Think about all the possible solutions to the reason, look at the pros and cons. However, one of the bad parts about reflecting and thinking too much is that sometimes it takes a while for me to get things out of my head. And I can remember recently when I made a video about the bed bugs affecting my property, the person I was living with by the time, for him, as long as the bed bugs didn't bite him, he didn't really care, he didn't really worry. But me, I took it quite personal I took it very well like, I took it to the point where I had to start seeing therapists because it was so much in my mind there'll be times I'll be driving home and I'll be thinking about it constantly in my mind it would be in my mind even there was the times where I couldn't even sleep because I was so affected and I think part of the reasons why I was so affected was the fact that I can't move out of this place this is my place so it's just things like that that when it's very small and you think about it very small obviously it doesn't become a problem when it keeps adding up and building up and building up then it becomes a huge problem due to that I was looking at ways how to obviously deal with these things overthinking and even a lot of people when I spoke to people they might even say I have anxiety which I don't know I have to look into as well but I don't really think I have anxiety like that but you never know unless you reflect on these things and you actually see that do I? Do I know? A lot of people don't actually know that they have certain things until they actually sit down with themselves and think or people tell you or people say it to you and people say look you might have to look into these and someone like myself obviously I'm you know, about improving and developing myself obviously I like to look at these things and actually see whether what ways can I try and manage or what ways can I try and deal with this as possible anyways one of the ways that you can obviously deal with this and by me looking into it was obviously trying to find things that might distract your mind from thinking about those things because sometimes obviously a lot of people just say oh just get over it like don't think about it but it's very hard when something is in your mind so much it is very very difficult to just not think about it it is very very tough and it can be quite difficult so obviously one of the ways is just try and distract yourself try and find things that you can think about maybe exercise maybe listen to music whatever can remove that distraction from your mind and I was even looking at something where it says distract yourself for 24 hours so I think definitely for me personally that part has even worked as well also overthinking as well is a lot of things to do with your mind which I already mentioned and one of the things as well that I do now is meditation meditating for five minutes I just go on YouTube five minute meditation I sit there it allows me to clear things in my mind, it allows me to be relaxed as possible and these are just ways too. Also, another way as well is to speak to people. I'm an advocate for obviously people that are going through things such as mental health, that are struggling with things such as depression, anxiety, is to speak to people. Now I'm very lucky because I'm a person that I communicate and I share my problems unlike other people that just like to keep it to themselves and think they can fight things by themselves because me, 
I know a lot of things that I go through. It's not just me. I'm not the only person in this world. There's billions of people in this world. And I'm sure with billions of people in this world, I'm sure you will find people that have similar experience of certain things. And it's quite funny because there was a time where I was going through certain things and I called up a friend of mine and I spoke to a few people and they said, yo, I'm going through the same thing as well. Or I've been through that thing and I'm like, whoa, you didn't even say anything. You didn't even speak about it. And it's just mad life. You speak to people and you speak to others, you'll be surprised that they're going through similar things as well. But I've spoken to a few people where obviously they've said, wow, they're quite the same as well. And someone even linked it to me being Libra, as in being born in October, that it could be a thing where obviously we're quite thoughtful and we think about things more than a few people. I don't know whether that's true because I don't even believe in all those horoscope and Libra and all that stuff. I don't really believe in it. But you get my point, like, it's just important to speak to people because trust me, especially guys, a lot of guys will be going through certain things and because of the stigma they might face, because people might mock them, they might not talk about it, they might just think, ah, oh, I'm strong. And sometimes you need people to speak to. And when I also say speak to people, obviously speak to friends, speak to family, but also see specialists as well, seek people that might help you because like I said the first time I was going through obviously the bed bug situation I went to my doctor and requested for therapy because it's important as well these are things that are available to you utilize it but speaking on that this overthinking and everything because obviously things happen in my life which is just normal because I'm just a human being like yourself so things happen in my life as well I went to the doctor and regarding the situation but also before going to the doctor I did a little research to see what kind of services they provide because I feel with these doctors these days they become a bit lazy they just want to just give you anything just to make it look like they've treated you but they haven't treated you because there are other treatments that are available that they can give to you there's some people in this world that we just take their advice or whatever they give us because we just feel they know best we don't know better than them but sometimes it's important that you question certain things. So I went to my doctor recently just to say, look, I'm going through this, blah, blah, blah. Can you obviously help me with a solution? This thing that I went for, obviously, like I said, it's been affecting my mind quite a lot. So I went to the doctor and he tried to recommend a therapy again. And I said, no, I said, no, the therapy, I'm not taking therapy because the last time he gave me the therapy, first of all, I wanted a one-to-one -one therapist. He said, I have to wait six months because of blah 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 because obviously there's a waiting list so for that reason I had to sell for the online therapy which is not really therapy like that because it's just like I'm just reading certain things and I'm trying different things which is not really what I need and also whilst I was going through that situation at that time I couldn't wait six months I cannot be waiting six months like I need this solution right now waiting six months is just pointless I might not have even gone to him as he tried to recommend me that I said I'm not taking that, find me another solution. He tried to give me another solution, but this time with medication. And me, I don't have any issue with medication. I'm very, very lucky that, thankfully, I don't have any health conditions. I try and keep myself as fit as possible. Obviously, I'm a human being like yourself. I get tired and it's not every day that I can also keep fit, but I take my body, I take my mind, I take my physical health, mental health very, very seriously. So. When he tried to give me medications, I was thinking, look, for me, medication is always last resort. I believe there are other ways that we can try. If those other ways don't work, then obviously, yeah, jump into medication. But when he tried to give me this medication, I said, okay, let me look into it. And I asked him, what are the side effects? And if you see the heavy, if you see the heavy, heavy side effects, they were there, diarrhea, um, losing sleep, I'm just like, so I asked that doctor, I asked him a question, I said, if you are going through what I'm going through, would you take these medications? He couldn't answer. So, and I said to him, I said, there you go, that's your answer already, because silence itself is an answer. So if you wouldn't take those medications, why would you recommend these medications to me? So I told him, I said, look, I'm not taking those medications, find me a better solution, because it's important. And that's one thing I want you guys to take from this video. Don't just accept anything people give you and believe what they said. I know he's a specialist, I know he's a doctor, I know he's gone many years to obviously learn to become a doctor, to train and do all these things. But for me, I just felt 
there were other solutions which you could provide, which you could have recommended, but he just wanted to give me the medication, not to get rid of me, but to get rid of me, to be like, okay, cool, we've answered him, we've sorted him out, but you haven't sorted me out. Because if you give me those medications, first of all, if I take those medications, I become reliant on those medications, that's number one. That's how people become addicted to medications or medications that are given. And also, there are other solutions to it. So I want to explore all the solutions. And luckily, like I said, I did a little research before going to the doctor to look for those other solutions. When I went to him, I said, look, I know you can provide me these other solutions. And also as well, in this country, I'm paying a lot of tax. And it's not just me. Every single person or most people in this country are paying a lot of tax. And these taxes are going towards our healthcare. So if these taxes are going towards our healthcare, why am I, when I'm going to these doctors to seek for help, they're not giving me the possible, the best solutions that they should be giving me, which is absolutely wrong, which I'm not going to accept. So I told him I'm not going to accept. So I told him, you need to send me to your top, top doctor in order for me to find a viable solution to this, to what I'm going through. But as I was saying, don't just accept anything your doctor just give you. Question it, ask questions because some of these medications, some of these things they give you, there's a lot of side effects towards it. And if you're not careful, you just take it, those side effects is you that's going to be feeling it. All your doctor is going to say is, when they ask you that, are you okay with this? He said yes, so why are you complaining? But me, I stood up and I said, no, I'm not taking it. And this also made me realize as well that maybe sometimes you need to go to a private doctor or go private, especially in this country, in order to get the best treatment. But obviously not everybody can afford that and can be very expensive. But going back to what I was saying about this um, overthinking as well, like for me, like I said, I've tried to understand why am I so reflective, but also I realized that maybe it's just the way I am, maybe just my nature. Sometimes I would not like to be reflective. Sometimes I would just like to hear things and it just goes out of my mind and I just forget about it. But I guess maybe that's probably never going to happen because the way I am is just the person where if you say certain things, I think about it and try and understand why is it like this, why is it like that. But obviously there are ways that obviously, like I said, I can manage this and which I am trying to manage as well. So if you are an overthinker out there or if you're a reflective person, like I like to call it, please do find obviously solutions to it because you can't be reflect it 24 7 because i can't i just won't be able to live a normal life and then this leads to the final part that i want to mention as well which is another video i wanted to do separately but i'll just add it to this video and it's also about being nice to people now i know people come out and tell me uh be nice nice people finish last now the reason why i said be nice to people is a lot of people are going through a lot of things trust me even me sometimes as much as you see me smiling people have a nice smile i'm smiling i'm happy Sometimes I'm going for a lot of things. Trust me, it might just be one thing you do to them that all they're going through will just end up flaring up and then they take all that anger on you and you never know. So for me, it's just about being nice to people. And also I want people to say, you know, as much as obviously people take advantage of it as much as possible, they still want to change my character. And for me, I would like to leave a place where people are like, you know what, Mr. CV is a very, very nice person. And he's able to impact me this way or that way rather than people just saying things that are not nice about yourself but also as well like i said a lot of people in the world some people are just walking normally but mentally trust me they're going through a lot of things they're battling through a lot of things there's a few times where people call me and i'm thinking they're absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with them maybe i've even seen them like a day or two and they call me they start crying they start telling me yo i'm going through this and i'm like wow and you might see them on social media laughing, smiling, dancing, but some people are going through a lot of things. So yeah, any person around you, just be nice to people because you don't know what people are going through. And like I said, if you are a person that is reflective, that are overthinking, it's not a bad thing at all because part of me making these videos and my videos are based on reflection on things so it allows me to think it allows me to use my mind most things i do in my life anyway is done mentally it's done in my brain my brain is an important segment of me of mr cv for me it's very important for me to utilize that but also it's very important as well for me too or for everyone who's reflective as well to allow your mind to breathe let your mind breathe which is also important because obviously life is tough life is difficult but you can't go into every video of your life 
carrying things on your head basically carrying things in your mind you have to free your mind you have to find ways to deal with it as well so it's your boy mr c i'm gonna leave you right there have a fantastic day take care and keep watching for more videos